Hey there, YTPC. Crafty piping back at you. Been a minute. About a little over a week. A little change of scenery here. Out here in my driveway. Smoking some uh, luxury bullseye flake in my Ice by Lee Bulldog Rhodesian. Whatever this is. Just saw Uncle Willie's video. He's feeling better, so that's good. Been busy. Work, graduation parties. Got some... Uh, Pipe mail in the mail. Got some tin tobaccos for the uh, pipes and cigars sale that was going on. Forgot my tamper out in the house. But I uh, wanted just to show one of my other hobbies I'm working on. As you can see. Currently have the engine pulled out of this. It is a 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. All original. Um, the body's in rough shape, so I have a Doom Buggy body. It's a uh, fiberglass body that uh, I bought off my buddy. That's going to go on this. I uh, currently have the engine pulled. That's downstairs in my basement. It's small enough you can do that. Do that so it's air conditioned when I'm working on it. In the process of trying to get that pulled apart. So I can uh, send it out for machining. I get the uh, block and the heads machined. I'm upsizing the uh, piston size from. Uh, the Volkswagen came with around a 1600 cc engine for this model year. Uh, I'm going to be pumping it up to a 1776 cc. Uh, still on the original magnesium block. But I got all new pistons, new crankshaft, camshaft. Um, all seals, bearings, new uh, oil pump with oil filter. So the original engine didn't come with an oil filter. We got a spin-off filter. So I got a yeah, spin-off filter uh, oil pump. So I can mount that directly to the engine. Still working on getting all the parts ordered for it as money permits. But uh, just real quick, I'm just going to take the camera and I'll show you what she looks like now, and then hopefully here by the end of the summer, I'll have the uh, car finished off. All right, guys. So this is my 17, or I'm sorry, <laughs> 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, what you see here will be no more uh, when I'm done with this project. It's going to be a dune bug, so this whole body's gone. I'm going to reuse the interior seats. Um, got new exhaust, which end up isn't going to work for what I'm doing. I'm going to end up turbocharging it. But so far, this is a all original body, all original glass. Still has the original Volkswagen uh, tags all the way around. But the inside's definitely not too bad. The seats are good. I'm gonna end up reusing these. Uh, the inside, it's a little rough. So there's nothing a little cleanup can't fix. Uh, I can't get the uh, frunk, the front trunk open. Currently have the uh, battery disconnected. That's the rear seat, the rear bench. Then 
car came with this. This is one of the original Volkswagen uh, German Eagles that they use for a logo. Uh, predates any Nazi era uh, symbolism. So there's that. Uh, this car originally came with the uh, fuel injection. Now, this car itself is not going to be fuel injected, it's going to be carbureted, um, which sadly, the original Volkswagen kits, when they came out with these, uh, the fuel injection system was horrible. So a lot of people would get rid of that engine and swap it out to a standard carbureted engine. Um, so that's the uh, axe or the uh, transmission there. Uh, four speed manual. But yeah, it's got the rear engine. So that's it. Just kind of wanted to show one of my uh, current projects I got going on. And then these are uh, interesting fact. <laughs> So the Beetles that uh, were the older style, the heat, so there was no air conditioning, the heat came from exhaust gases that they would take and reroute through the body of the car to heat the car. You can see right there, that there, and then back here, I've got the the connector taken off so it's hard to see but back there they would actually pump the exhaust gas through the frame and around and that was what heated the car well after a time <laughs> when these cars started getting some rust on them and the uh, channels where the exhaust gases would run through the car would rust out and the exhaust gases while the car was running would fill the car and people were ending up dying because of that so <laughs> we have disconnected that we are not going to reuse that um, a lot of what you see here the transmission is going to stay the same axles um, look to be in fairly good shape but minus the rust they might be getting replaced but overall it's a solid car All right, guys, I'm going to bring it back up and uh, just close out the video. All right, guys, so that was uh, my current project hobby, uh, working on halfway restoring, rebuilding a uh, Volkswagen Beetle train into a doom bug. Just something that fun, right, driving around, uh, top down, no top at all. Uh, but yeah, this whole car, it's gonna, the body's going to be gone, it's going to chop the frame. I got to shorten the frame by 14 and a half inches uh, so it'll fit the dim bug body. Uh, outside of that, though, that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget, put your submissions in for your favorite pipe shape for the, uh, the giveaway. And uh, cheers.